I was going to talk about Turkey, and the reason why I wanted to see a video about Turkey because the natural, yeah, the natural disaster, as mm -hmm. YK had said, so there's nothing anybody could have done about it. Um, one of the one of the one of the things about Africa is that many we are we are somewhat blessed in the way that we don't get a lot of these natural disasters, but when they, but they do happen sometimes. But when in the country we observe and see how it happens, there's another opportunity to see what we can do to be more humane to help people. I don't know if Nigeria is reaching out to Turkey at this moment to support in any way they can. I don't know what we can do to help globally. I don't know. It's, it's hard. I know mm. you're laughing. But the, truth is that, but the truth is that there's got to be something we do because um, these are, this, this is a country where, as I said, we do a lot of business with them. A lot of yeah. Nigerians bring in material and goods mm. from this, from Turkey. So with their economy, is going to be affected by this disaster, definitely to affect many Nigerian Niger. businesses also. Mm -hmm. It'll be a ripple effect. So... Anything that happens in one part of the world affects us, whether we like to believe it or not. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and just watching the, the, the despair on people's faces, yeah. the, 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 the sadness, the pain, the anguish on many people, it's, it's, quite, it's quite disheartening. And you know the worst part, it's freezing cold there. Yes. I hear. Can you imagine? I hear. It's freezing, freezing cold. They're all there looking for their loved ones. Ah, um, yeah. In fact... I think we should even be thanking God because we don't have that kind of natural disaster here. Both, God ah. is not unrighteous. Ah. We give you half. We cannot have both. Too. And we, can't have, we can't have human and uh, natural together. But, but we had the uh, natural uh, during the rainy the season. Floods. The floods. Yeah, the flood. Uh, it's not as you bad know? as... But we also it's know what exacerbated that. Mm. We did not do ah, what was we were supposed to say. It's human, human disaster. Yeah. Eh? But disaster. you know, the eh? Turkey... Africa, God has blessed us, but we have refused to bless ourselves. <laughs> mm. Hmm. That's deep. So let me yeah. just say the, the numbers. So as of this morning, mm -hmm. death toll rises to more than 4,800. The latest figures here, and, uh, and that's, that's combined with Turkey and Syria. Mm -hmm. So Syria earthquake is about 3,381, and the others are from, are from, um, sorry, are from Syria. About 20,426 have been injured. About 5,700, yeah, 20,426 were injured. 5,775,000 mm -hmm. buildings collapse. Yes. And, they're, and, and they're still, the rescue mission is still ongoing. So our hearts go out to the families. So I, of course, I definitely need to, this is a tragic um, situation. But I was wondering, because when we did geography in school, they would say that before an earthquake happens, tremors, you know, they yeah, would experience tremors. Yeah, there's a warning tremor. signs. Yes, and I wonder if, there are equipment, I'm sure there are equipment to, to sort of forewarn or tell yeah. if something's about to happen. And I'm wondering um, how Turkey is as a country. Is it as developed yeah. as what we call like the America and the UK? Yeah. And do they have things like that? Was there any warning for yeah, them? To evacuate. Well, yeah, to evacuate. Because the um, casualties is just Yeah, it's alarming. Scary. And thinking that that's true, that could they have had yeah. enough... Um, pre-knowledge to yeah. evacuate as many people as they could. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess right now everybody's still trying to rescue people first mm -hmm. and then after that we now get reports and nobody. Mm -hmm. This is a really, really painful development and I mean, <laughs> honest, it's really, really sad. We have to wrap up on this but I was hoping to get a few calls from those who have loved ones in Turkey to see if they've heard from them. But I know this might not be a good time. It might be too early to get people to start calling on families so the people are still trying to see and uh, make sure, call their loved ones to be sure there's nobody hurt. But um, we wait as the, as, the week, as the days go by to see if we have any updates from Turkey. But once again, our hearts go out to the families of those who lost their lives in Katsina State and also those who died as a natural disaster in Turkey. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go on the hot topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back.